Hi, my name is Noah, and I have the opportunity to share about how generosity has impacted my life over many years, and even in just these past few seasons. I know generosity can look like a lot of different things for a lot of different people. I know we have tithe and we have offering, but generosity sometimes goes beyond that. And I know when it comes to like the financial side of generosity, I always want to give my tithe and I always want to give offering and I always want to go above and beyond. But you know, as a young adult and as trying to figure out your finances and maybe you don't make that much and you're trying to figure out your bills and all this stuff. And then you like look at everything as a whole and you go, how am I going to give? But I just want to challenge you that giving above and beyond isn't always just in monetary value. Sometimes it's giving your time, giving your efforts in other areas. I know I grew up in church and I heard the stories about how people were faithful with their tithe and they gave everything they had and God um, blessed them. Someone sent them a check in the mail for the exact amount they needed or maybe they received money from someone and everything was all great and um, fine. But you know, in reality, like you can't always wait around for those moments. God's always going to bless you, but sometimes it doesn't look like a check in the mail or it doesn't look like someone on the street handing you cash. Sometimes it looks like an opportunity. Sometimes blessing you might be being able to buy somebody's coffee or a door opening. You know, you may say, God, I'm tired. I don't have anything else to, to give or any more time to spend. And you say, but I'll open this door so you can go do something and therefore you will be blessed in that. I recently had the opportunity to help a church with their summer camp in the tech department, um, stuff that I'm already naturally good at, stuff that I've worked in for years. And um, when I was praying about it and I said, God, I don't really have that much time. I don't, I'm already tired as it is. And he was like, I'm gonna open this opportunity for you. You wanted ways to be blessed. You wanted ways to improve your financial stability. I'm opening a door for you. I had to put more time and effort in going. I had to wake up early and drive like an hour to go and spend the morning with these uh, kids and at night. And not only was I blessed in my soul by like helping kids experience Jesus, I was able to receive financial support for that. Sometimes being generous, the blessing isn't always what you want. It's not always what you expect, but God will give you exactly what you need. And so what I want to challenge you in today is when God is generous to you, when God blesses you, take that opportunity. Even if it doesn't look like even if it doesn't look like what you wanted it to. Take that opportunity. It may be scary and it may be uncomfortable, but I, w I just encourage you to take this step of faith. I heard this quote the other day that said, nothing is actually scary, it's just out of your comfort zone. And so I wanna encourage you, step out of your comfort zone. Give what you have and then say, God, I don't have anything else to give, but open an opportunity. Maybe that opportunity for you to be blessed is just to share Jesus with somebody else. Maybe it's to pay for somebody's groceries and you're saying, I don't have that kind of money. But when God opens the opportunity and you take it, you will be even more blessed in this season. Here at Floodgates, we believe that generosity is our lifestyle. So I encourage you, make this an everyday thing. Make it your lifestyle. Choose to be generous because I promise you, you will not regret it. And God promises that he will bless you.